Hey everybody, welcome to yet another Fox Helmet unboxing. So today I'm unboxing the Fox Speedframe Pro mountain biking helmet. This thing just came this morning and uh, it's time to open this thing up. Let's get to it. Alrighty, got the uh, cardboard untaped and opened. Just got the box here and a little packing slip looks like. Fox always has these cool black boxes with their logo, kind of shiny black on the, the matte black box there. It's always just kind of a cool look. Set the shipping packing slip aside, I should say. And you may be wondering, I uh, have the specialized ambush helmet with Angie. Um, this thing just didn't quite work out for me and it took me a few rides to get to that realization so um, I was kind of past the point where I couldn't return it so now I'm trying the Fox helmet. Can't really go wrong with Fox. The, the issue with the Specialized helmet was it was just a little too tight and a little too small. Uh, the tiny one can't take a hint. Uh, he doesn't understand. He's small. On my head didn't fit me real well. So I'm curious to see how this Fox Speed Frame Pro helmet will do. Um, usually Fox helmets will fit me pretty good. I, I wear a large, so... It's kind of cool with the box inside there. I don't know if you can see it, but it has a little foam pad on the top to protect the helmet there. And then we have the helmet itself just sitting on a tray. And then got the instruction manual. I never read a helmet instruction manual. I don't really know what to, to think about those. And then some extra pads, looks like. Quite a few extra pads too. Kind of surprising. All right, and then the helmet itself looks like it's in this clear plastic wrap. Let's set that aside here. Put the box aside for now. Alrighty, here's the helmet. So the Speedframe Pro is 100 and. $60 um, comes with MIPS and I think it has this magnetic magnetic uh, buckle here so I'll have to figure that out um, as you can see I'm kind of kind of going for the the white look um, yeah, I have a couple other helmets here this is a, a Fox helmet Kind of more of the skate park style. I run this when I'm uh, on my BMX bike or go to the skate park or something. Um, but if you're on a mountain bike ride, it just it feels a little out of place and uh, doesn't have the same kind of airflow. Um, so just kind of designed for something a little different. So um, now that I'm kind of into mountain biking more, I, I just didn't really want to wear a BMX helmet all the time. And then on the, the flip side, you may have seen this, I did an unboxing video on the, the Fox Rampage Pro Carbon Helmet a few months ago. This is what I run if I'm kind of doing more of a downhill or dirt jump type scenario. But this thing's, it has good airflow, but it's just a little too much if you're going for just a, kind of a normal mountain bike trail ride. So this is the, the in-between I was looking for. Um, so yeah. Specialized Ambush with Angie is $200. Fox Speedframe Pro is about $160. So Specialized is a little more expensive. Um, I also, I don't know, I think the Specialized, at least when I was looking at pictures, I thought the Specialized helmet kind of looked like the best trail helmet that you could get, just looks wise. 
Um, but now that I'm seeing these two in person, I'm almost like, I think this Fox helmet looks pretty sweet. You know, you got the Fox logo on the side here. Um, it's kind of cut off in the, the ear hole there, which looks kind of cool. And I kind of like the back. I know some people have said they are a huge fan of the, the back, but I don't know, I kind of like it. The visor on the Fox is not adjustable. It's just one, one place. Whereas on the, the specialized ambush helmet, you, kinda, you can put it in all kinds of positions. This is the lowest. That's the highest. And then specialized has, has MIPS. Both have MIPS. Specialized also has this thing called Angie. It goes on the back of your, your helmet. You can basically sync it up with your phone and then it'll send an email out if there's like a strong impact to contacts that you select through your, your phone, I guess. And then it'll send an email that you maybe had a crash. And so the idea is if you, if you go writing alone, then uh, your contacts will get an email and uh, if, you, if you crash, that is, and then uh, they may come and rescue you or whatever. But I, I thought that sounded like a good idea, but the reality is once I had the helmet, I just, not that I had worn this in time, just because it didn't fit real well, but uh, I don't know. I don't know if I would use that. You know, I'm a single guy. Maybe if I was married and kind of had a worried spouse or something, this might come in handy, but I found that even though I thought the idea sounded good, once I had it, in reality, it was kind of like, I was worried about, does the email go out if I shake it a little too much? And does that make people worried when they shouldn't be? And I don't know, just kind of a, a weird little gimmick almost that I just, I don't know what to think about. Maybe everybody will use it in the future, but I, uh, I didn't seem to find a strong need for it. All right, so moment of truth. This is, uh, this is gonna be interesting. So we have a lot of extra pads. Let's get these extra pads the Fox helmet came with here. Looks pretty bare inside there right now. Um, you can see the, the MIPS in there and then just some pads kind of more on the, the front part here. But uh, I run a, a large typically. I'm about a 60 centimeter head. So there we go. Let's loosen the Looks like we got a kind of a crank system on the back to tighten it. Oh yeah, feels pretty good just right off the bat. Just straight out of the box, no pads or anything. It feels like really good on the head actually. <laughs> I'm kind of spread. I'll tighten it a little, that crank system on the back I'm twisting. All right, I uh, have the tags on here. Yeah, you gotta try it on, I guess. I won't cut these off yet. You gotta try it on before you commit to it. And then that's pretty cool, that magnetic buckle system. No clicking or anything, you just put the magnets together and that's cool. So, yeah, this thing, I'm pretty sure it, uh, it feels better than the Specialized Ambush right away. Um, so, I'll try that on real quick. See if I can figure out <laughs> how to unbuckle the magnet system. There we go. You just kind of slide them off each other. The issue with the, again, I'm, I typically run a size large. I got the biggest specialized ambush size. Um, I'm about a 60 centimeter head. And I, I, I also have kind of a, somewhat of a, a lopsided head. It's not perfectly symmetrical, and so the issue with the Specialized is it is tight to begin with, you know, 60 centimeters, it's like super tight, and then it also sits on me very sideways, which again, I kind of have a lopsided head, so most helmets do, but it's just kind of so tight that the lopsidedness is just a little bit outrageous, and it just, on long ride, this thing is just, uh, it starts to hurt on my temples, especially. And so again, after a few rides, it just kind of, I was like, I can't really run this. This is just not working out. So this thing's going on eBay. It's a nice helmet, barely used, you know, just five rides in it, kind of a, kind of a deal. So put that on eBay. So 
Yeah. The Fox, yeah, it feels, it's, it's more roomy. It's not squeezing my temples and not squeezing my head, so. Uh, feels good. So, I'm gonna cut the tags off of this guy now. Alrighty. Let me examine this buckle system here. That's pretty cool. You gotta see this. So this is the the buckle system. It's uh, they don't really click together. It's more a magnet that just you literally just put on top of one another and boom, it's secured. And then to undo it, I I don't quite have the motion down. I don't quite know what you're doing. Which way do you go? There you go. Okay, there you go. It's like a slide with the, what would that be, the right? You have to slide it out in the way that's kind of formed. So here we go. We set this on top of each other, boom. That's buckled. And then, how is it fitting? It's a little crooked like all helmets on me. <laughs> Let's do a spin. So I don't know, I kind of like the, uh, I like the back of this helmet, but I don't know about the visor. This maybe could use some stickers or something because it's like a little too plain and boring or something. But I don't know. Let's put it this way. There's a reason I, uh, I picked the Specialized Ambush originally, um, just because I think this is by far the best looking trail helmet you can get in the mountain bike market today. And uh, I wish it would have worked, but it's just, again, size 60 head, wearing large, the biggest they had for me, it just did not fit. It just hurts to wear and is even more lopsided, skewed to the side there. It's just, I don't like that, but yeah. If it starts to give you a headache after 30 minutes of riding, it's just, just not really gonna work, you know? So this thing, it feels way better. It feels like it's barely on my head. But yeah, I will have to say that I don't quite like the way it looks as much as the Specialized. What do you guys think? All right, I'm gonna open up the pads here and see where they even go. So this looks like just an extra one like top of the head pad that's already in the helmet and it doesn't look like it's really any thicker or anything so it's just 100 percent an extra i don't know if that's what all of these are yeah these just look like they are 100 percent extra pads so all these pads you get four pads with the helmet and i'm examining the helmet in there they are already in there and they don't look any thicker or anything that I can tell. So they just send you, you know, the four pads that are in the helmet, they send you an extra one for every, every pad in the helmet there. So with that confirmation and the tags off, this is the helmet. This is uh, ready to go out and you can start riding in this thing. And it, uh, it feels good. I'm going to have to go uh, kind of look at it on me in the mirror more closely and then uh, try some rides and then uh, hopefully it should be good. Another one thing that I wanted to check out is the top. The top's kind of an important thing just with, uh, with lights and, and GoPros and stuff. You know, it's the, the, the Fox helmet here has a little bit of a, a wider solid piece here than the, the specialized ambush and that's good for GoPro mounts and also good for not only is this wider but 
the holes are a little, on the sides, are a little wider. So um, that's good for lights, because a lot of lights, you'll have a strap that you kind of wrap into the helmet, so that'll be nice. My scissors stick into the magnetic buckle system there. <laughs> All right, look at me, I'm reading the manual. I gotta see if this thing has a magnetic visor. I think it does, but I don't wanna to break it. <laughs> so it actually, the visor is not magnetic. Um, I pulled it off and didn't break it, but I was worried I did. <laughs> So yeah, it's not like the Rampage Pro where it's magnetic, it doesn't look like, um, but it looks like it's easy, no tools, just two prongs that stick into holes there, so no tools to remove it, um, and you can replace that. I know Fox on the website has a bunch of different color visors and stuff, so um, yeah. Well, this thing's ready to go. Tags are off. I've confirmed that these pads are just extras. I don't need to stick them in there right now, so this thing feels good. Um, this is just going to be a simple unboxing video, so it's time to go ride in this thing, and uh, hopefully in the future I'll maybe review this after having some seat time in it and riding, going on some rides and everything. But for now, that should be it. I'm going to stick the Specialized Ambush on eBay, say goodbye to it. See if I can get some money back from it and uh, go with the the new Fox Speed Frame Pro mountain biking helmet. So, thanks for watching. We'll see you guys in the next video.